when Ren ruled the earth. It was in the days of curiosity when all creatures explored the boundaries of their world and all the birds converged. There were eagles and falcons and robins. And hey, you probably know a bird or two. What bird would you put there? Hummingbird? Peacock? Some kind of wonderful bufflehead duck? They were all there. And they decided that they needed a ruler who could help them navigate the bad times and the good. But how would they choose? What criteria would they use? Well, Peacock said that they should choose the bird with the most beautiful feathers because then, of course, he would win. And Robin said, Oh, no, you should choose the bird with the most cheerful voice. Because then she would win. But as often happens, it was the strongest birds who won the argument. They said, hey, let's choose the strongest bird. And what better way to choose than to see who can fly the highest. So all the raptors, the most powerful birds, were sure that they would win. They preened their feathers. They stretched their necks and they flexed their wings. Now with all that preening and stretching and flexing, no one noticed tiny, tiny little Wren who was flitting about from flower to flower and branch to branch as she often did. Now with all that flitting about, oh, she became quite sleepy. Oh, so she decided to nestle down under the wings of the greatest bald eagle around. Well, it was Robin who announced the race with a chirp. And all the birds took off into the sky. They flew higher and higher and higher. Oh. They flew for five days and five nights until only a peregrine falcon and an eagle were still flying. And at last the peregrine falcon's wings gave out and they returned to earth. But the eagle flew still higher. And the eagle cried in that squeaky, tiny voice that eagles have, I have flown the highest, so I shall rule the birds. Well, all the birds below accepted eagle as their ruler. But then, just as eagle began to return to earth, well, Wren woke up from her nap and, feeling well rested, she flew still higher. And she said, look, Eagle, I have flown higher than you. I have flown the highest of all, so I shall rule the birds. Well, Eagle, who was never a sore loser, said, oh, yeah, it's true. You have flown higher. Well, then, Wren shall rule us all. Well, all the other birds accepted Wren as their leader for, though they were never quite sure how she did it. They all agreed that it must have taken a great deal of wisdom. And you have to admit, wisdom is an excellent quality to have in a leader, don't you think? Particularly in times such as these. Ah, oh, Wren ruled the earth, and perhaps still does. Happy birding, everyone. <laughs>